Hi, Willow. Come on. We're going this way. Uh-uh. There's nothing over there. Tried to nip at my elbow. All she ended up doing was slobbering on me. Today we were trying positive reinforcement at Liberty. I don't think she's realized yet that like there's, I mean like she, if she just sticks next to me, she'll, um, she gets fun things like treats, but uh, I think she's figuring it out. She's like, well, there's not really any tasty graphs over here. Other than one little nip at the elbow and her getting nothing for it other than a stern little what the heck are you doing she's doing fine and she um we had to get her a new corner feeder and it's sitting outside of her stall because she uh doesn't like her new neighbor and kicked like a hole in her other one so i'm um, gonna replace it yeah you're a goofball Come on. There you go. Good girl. Oh, yeah. You want to be on the left this time? Okay. Good. Alrighty. Nope. You just want to... Okay. Oh, she found one blade of grass. <laughs> Feels pretty nice in the sun. For a few minutes at least and then it gets hot and then go in the shade and it's too cold <laughs> and i think she got in a fight in the pasture she's got a big old scratch on her butt so i'll take her out and put some cream on it oh, a bunch of birdies she lays if i had it on vertical and if i ever want to put this anywhere i should probably put it on horizontal <laughs> hello Oh, now you're interested. Okay, well, stop trying to bite me, because that isn't what we want, okay? Please quit. Thank you. Good girl. If I start walking, are you going to stay next to me? There we go. Good girl. You're figuring it out. Nope. No, she's not. <laughs> Come on. I know you want the food in your stall, but I have better stuff. There you go. What a good girl. I'm going to walk a couple steps. Uh, uh, uh. Getting in front of me isn't going to do you anything. I gotta check the freaking poop bucket one more time. She's checked every bucket here twice. There's nothing in there. Oh, well, she just wants to nibble. Not very tasty grass. She's like, I'm gonna go see if I can get in the paddock. <laughs> Yes, hi, hello. Yeah, come on. Let's go down a little tiny hill. Yeah, that's so much fun. A couple steps. Whoop. Good. Yeah, see, you stay with me. And you don't get up in my face and you get fun things.
all the other horses in the pasture right there are like, how come she gets special treatment? Whoop! Okay. Oh. Told her, stop. She doesn't, so. She values the grass more than the treat. That's all right with me. Eventually she'll figure it out. Don't go causing problems. She's gonna go pro cause problems. Just don't go. That's what I get for trusting her to make good decisions. Hello. Really? I'm just waiting on her to scream. I know it's gonna happen. Oh my god, she didn't scream. This is a miracle. She sniffed a new horse and didn't throw a fit. Wow, good job. Yeah, I'm very proud of you. Took a lot of self-restraint. Oh, and he's interested in her butt and she just wants the grass. <laughs> Come on. Taking the path of most resistance. And now, sniffing poop. Doing horsey things. And off to find greener grass. <laughs> she just likes to cause drama. Cause she is adorable. Oh, what you doing? Come on. Yeah, what a good girl. See, we like walking together. It gets you good things. Let's go. Walking around the farm, like totally normal, deep south horse people. Oh yay, she went over a puddle. So proud. Oh, and she's approaching the scary things. Everyone here is like, why does she talk to herself? Hello, come on. Let's not hang around the scary things. Huh? No, we want to sniff more things. You're okay. Come on. I know, it's just noises. Third time today. You've already sniffed the bucket. Come on. And here we have a good decision in progress. Alright. Kind of Kubota going and she stood still. Good for her. Today we're learning how to make good decisions of huh? her own free will. There you go. Oh, she hears the food. She's like, I know what that is. You'll get your food in a little bit. I know. You got such a cute little newt. Newt, newt. <laughs> I just got slobbered. That is not a good decision. Yeah. 
Yeah, see? You don't have to freak out when things start moving after I told you not to go near them because they're going to start moving. You are a-okay, buddy. Oh, thank you for nuding me. Should go newt. You want to eat more hay? <laughs> She's like, I know there's food around here somewhere. What you doing? like oh I know you're putting more treats in your pocket and that's like okay but like you have to earn them you're so fluffy I know don't bite me biting is not fun yeah so she got a little scratch I'll clean that up in a bit poor girly I say poor girly like she isn't the one who probably is starting all the fights her and her fluff Olaf is in the feed room behind me. I'm gonna get her food ready and then I'll see if she will do like something a little more interesting than walking behind me. <laughs> Use up all of the treats and then feed her dinner. Mostly I'm using on the goats because they kept trying to harass her. Alright, you behave. Don't sniff too many suspicious buckets. I just realized that there's a bike there. That's a great opportunity. Do you want to learn that bikes are friends and not something to be scared of? We'll do that. Oh, I see a goat. You see the treat. Okay, is two treats enough to lure you over here? I just realized that I completely forgot my route. Hi, Houdini. And Barnaby. They'll eat the treats, no problem. These are like the most problematic. Good, go good job, Willow. They're like so problematic. All they do is cause chaos. I know. I really have no issue with her squaring up against them because they are sometimes cute and sometimes annoying. Hello. You are not going to get a treat. Are you? Really, dude? Really? You really just. Uh uh. Scooch it. Out. Get away. No. Nothing for you. Problematic creature. Hi, Willow. She 
you want tea? As it should be. Yeah, we like bikes. Bikes are fun. Oh, that was terrifying. I don't know if that picks up on the microphone. That sounded like a either something very big just dropped off of something very fast. That was a very loud gunshot, or it was a very loud firework. I don't think it's a firework. Let's figure that far past New Year's. Hello! I know, you're doing so good. Stop trying to eat me. You have to be patient. Oh, it fell. Oh, she found it. Okay. One more. Good job. Hey. It's a little wet. I don't know why you want wet hay. You can kill the goats if you want to. She really probably kind of made like a really good cutting horse or something. Okay, I'm gonna get her food ready. That's interested in what Willow eats. I've got two pounds triple crown senior, about two pounds in alfalfa pellets. Uh, it's one eighth of a cup, it's so about, you know, one ounce volume wise of the Redmond rock stuff. Uh, two, well, a quarter cup by volume of raspberry leaf. Otherwise, she gets, you know, cranky because I'd be cranky too. Actually, no, I do get cranky too. <laughs> Uh, get a scoop of flax. Just straight flax seed. It's the good stuff. Um, so, Redmond Rock is just to make sure she's getting enough minerals and stuff. Raspberry leaf is to help with her cycling and stuff. Flax helps with coat joints and so it adds a little more fat. Licorice root helps with inflammation, helps with her breathing because she does have slightly inflamed lungs for most of the time. But in winter, when it's not very bad, I'll just use licorice root instead of having to get her a bunch of medication. And we have a weight supplement because she is getting up in ears and it does help. Yep, so I. Uh, and we mix it together. Mm, delicious. Sometimes I'll do soaked hay cubes. Sometimes I'll just do pellets. She also gets about two and a half pounds of 12% uh, feed. Obviously has access to multiple sources of fresh water. And here's a bonus Olaf. Hi, buddy. Hi. You know, you're so good boy. You're a good boy. Hello. Uh, 